Hello and welcome back to Matt's Bookish Corner. I'm Matt, these are books. I'm being serious. <laughs> so this week I'm looking at a book by the prolific author Joel Lansdale. The book's called By Bizarre Hands and it comprises 16 short stories that all have very strange subject matter. Kind of like Ray Bradbury meets Clive Barker which is pretty damn weird in my book. <laughs> Personally, I couldn't pass picking this book up because uh, I'm a big fan of Bubba Hotep. I've never read the book, but I've seen the movie with Bruce Campbell playing a very aging Elvis Presley with uh, a mummy after him. <laughs> and if you've never even heard of that, go Google it right now. <laughs> I'll just be sat here waiting for you. Take your time. <laughs> Back to the book though, this is a very odd collection, um, mainly horror I suppose, or there's a horror element in each tale, but it covers very diverse subject matter, following life, death, love, and also everything odd in between that. Obviously this novelist has a love for the bizarre. It's in the title. Like any short story collection, there are standouts. The first story in this book, Fish Night, about fish that swim in the air on some lonely stretch of highway. Part of the story was very joyous with kind of a very sour ending. Although I would say that each tale in this book has a very sour ending indeed. So if you're not into that, I wouldn't recommend it. Another favorite of mine in the book is called The Pit, where a man is snatched by a community out in the middle of a stick somewhere and forced to do battle to the death with another opponent. It was a very well-written piece and I really enjoyed that. It's kind of tragically sweet and horrific at the same time. Um, yeah, I just couldn't get that story out of my head. But the story that really stayed with me in this novel, and not in a good way, had to be The Night We Missed the Horror Show. Obviously in the title it's about some kids who missed the horror show, and it's set in a time of high racial prejudice, and it takes it pretty far. Um, although it does question our humanity and the fact that we just destroy everything, regardless of skin colour. So, uh, I don't know, it was a very hard story to read, and... Uh, I've actually read it twice now and I don't know if I would read it again but it is something that I remember from this collection vividly and when I read the end I felt like putting this book down for good and not finishing it but uh, I didn't know which is typically me and I battled on for the end. Another story in the collection, Steel Valentines, seems like a familiar story but it's Joel Landale's spin on how far a man will go to survive. I think it's one of the short stories in the book. Um, I'd say it's short and sweet, but there's nothing sweet about this novel. What I will say, it's a short and bloody story. And uh, if you're a lover of horror, you will enjoy it. Now, I'm not going to go over every story in this collection. What I will say, though, is that the book was a pretty fine read, and it's probably something that I will uh, read again and again, as I love short horror fiction. I love short fiction, to be fair, because you can do so much with the format, and you're not going to be bogged down with too much exposition. Get in there and get out. <laughs> Personally, that's the first book I've actually read by the author, so I need to go seek out more by him. If you've read anything by him, let me know if it's any good and leave it in the comments below and I'll have to check it out. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this book review. Thanks for watching as usual and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Silent night, deadly night. Here's the plot. <laughs> plot. <laughs> On Christmas Eve, right. little Billy is on his way home with the family when they're stopped on the road by a man dressed as Santa Claus. Oh, how nice. Oh. However, this Santa Claus isn't nice and proceeds to murder his entire family in front yes. of Billy's eyes, which leaves him with a terrible fear of Mr. Claus. As Billy grows up, his fear gets worse.